Brooklyn, congratulations on your partnership with Silk Next Milk. Tell us all about it. So um, me and my wife actually love it because she's actually lactose intolerant. So it's uh, the only plant-based uh, milk that actually tastes just like milk. So it's really interesting actually because I've always I've always tried to look for like an alternative. Yes. You know. Same. So I think like just like the aftertaste is great and the texture is great. So Cheers. Yeah, it's really good. Cheers. Okay. Well, I'm so glad we have this because Aaron approves. I really like this. Wow, it is smooth and tasty. I am so glad we have this here because we are using it for toast or roast Amazing. over French toast. And first I'd like to start by toasting you, sir, because the internet has called you the perfect husband. Do you know this? <laughs> Do you know? There's like a whole article on it right here. Need more men like Brooklyn Beckham <laughs> because you are the perfect husband. Now, I have to know what makes you the perfect husband and I have to know, does Nicola agree? I think like once you find that person that you just like can't live without, I think it's so like easy, you know? So like, I mean, I love her more than anything. So I've always, I always try to make her happy. It's all I, it's all I do. So, you know, as long as she's happy, then I'm happy, so. Toaster roasts this, sitting on the same side of the booth with your partner at a restaurant. Oh, I actually don't like to do that because I love how pretty she is, so I, look, I like to look at her. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I'm a same booth yeah. kind of girl. We like to, like, hold hands like that, you know. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that is cute. See, I, I'm a so same sweet. booth. I'm the same booth type girl, okay. and my husband hates it. He's I mean, like, I, I, just, I don't mind it, but, I mean, I prefer to look at okay, it. Okay, so we're roasting that. Got it. Wearing coordinated outfits with your partner, toast or roast? Toast. We love matching. I happen to we know that matching. because I have... Well, I always match her. So, so. wait. Which one is your favorite? Um, we did, she got us these, these are the Christmas pajamas that she got us together. Um, I like the suits and I like the just uh, jeans and t-shirts. So who's the style, who's the stylist here? Is it you? My wife. Okay. My wife. Like I go off best. her outfits. Like so freaking good. This yeah. little, the, the details, <laughs> oh, on lock, on par. On, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just so all about it. Now do we toast or roast your parents being the OGs of matching outfits. Those those matching leather outfits. I was actually there. I was. I don't know if you've seen those pictures, but I was wearing a purple cowboy hat, and I was a year old. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, so we toast it. Yeah. Toaster roast this. Trolling your parents on social media. Oh, I love doing that. Actually, I do that this morning. I saw. And I, yeah. Do they ever like have a talking to you, like Brooklyn? That was really mean. No. No. We we always take the mick out of each other. So That's especially good. me and my dad. Now, is it the same goes for you, Nicola? Like, yeah. who's making more fun? Oh yeah, we we're always like we always like make make fun of each other. It's really, I mean, we we're just as I said, like find your best person. You can do literally anything together. So okay, now I just got married and I get this question oh, all the congratulations. time. Oh, so congratulations! I mean, cool. actually, I just got married two years ago, but it still feels okay. like we just got married. <laughs> it's been we're a coming while. up on our first year, actually. Yeah, you guys April. have been married a while. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were engaged for a long time. Yeah, see we were engaged for like literally two seconds, four months, and then we got married, and then for some reason we had a kid right away. We were dating for like, literally like six months, and then I asked her. And she was always like, you took too long, why are you doing that? Well when you know, you know. Like, <laughs> exactly. you just, there's it's nothing true. else you want to explore and see. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, tunnel vision. Yep. Okay, so being a person who just got married once in my life, Everyone asks, when are you gonna have kids? Do we toast or roast? Everyone asking, when are you gonna have kids? Um, I love talking about kids. I, I love it, you definitely toasting. Okay. I can't wait to have kids, so Aww. yeah, I'm excited. That's sweet, because as soon as you have the first, they're gonna be like, when's the second? Exactly. And I'm like, stop asking questions. Exactly. Yeah, is it still I could kids? have so many, but it's obviously totally up to her. Do we have some commentary on 10? She's like, please don't ask me this question. <laughs> yeah, she has Yo. eight siblings, so. Wow, yeah. you never know. I mean, that could be a full-blown soccer team right there mm -hmm. with a goalie included, or is yeah. it 11 on the field? Is it 10 or 11 on the field? On football? Yeah. Oh, 11. Okay, um, <laughs> giving your partner the silent treatment when you're annoyed with them, toast or roast? When, when we're mad at each other, which is very rarely, I say the only thing we argue about is the temperature in the room. Um, so that's like literally the only thing we argue about. So when we start to argue, we're always like, oh, we're sorry, we love each other so much, you know? Oh, One of those. So funny. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I give my husband the silent treatment when I'm <laughs> mad at him, and I'm not sure what gets me out of that mode, but I was gonna ask you for advice if there's any anything that actually truly works. So I'm gonna pass this advice on to him. I don't know, just like make us some food. Make a yeah. dish. Honestly, if I you think. just make me a solid grilled we'll bring cheese. Or we'll bring a popcorn or something. Popcorn. Yeah. That, Put on some Love Island. <laughs> popcorn and Love Island? Like, <laughs> set. Set for life with me. Toaster roast this. Getting a tattoo in honor of your partner within the first month of dating. Toast. Toast? Yeah. How long did it take for you to give the first tribute on your body? Um, it was pretty soon after we started dating. And then I obviously am half covered with stuff uh, so I heard the number is 70 is that real no that was <laughs> I do have like over 20 though dedicated okay. to her um, I actually just got one um, really but, like uh, yeah. oh my god do you want to yeah. share yeah I have oh my god that is gorgeous yeah wait who did that I need the artist because I need a Mark new Mahoney he's the wait, best he's at, tattooist he's at Shamrock, in the world no? yeah. Yeah. yeah he's the most amazing person he's obviously so talented He's the sweetest person. Him and his wife are just such lovely people. Oh my god, that is absolutely stunning. Yeah, they're very addictive, so. They really Especially are. Especially when you love someone, you just want to cover everything. Right? Yeah. Wait, this is so fun. I love toasting and roasting with you. I feel like you are kind of the relationship guru of this generation. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel good. I feel <laughs> good. That means a lot. What do you attribute, like, the, the way that you do love and relationships and treat your partner? I think you just, like, I mean, my dad always said just, like, do everything to make her happy and you know don't lie to her make her happy and you know it's actually true like happy wife happy life so I mean have you stopped chewing ice to make everyone happy in the household <laughs> that's actually one thing I'm struggling with I I love chewing ice for some reason then that's one thing that actually pisses her off a little bit but yeah. I love it I, I you know I, I sometimes like if I don't think about it I do it in front of her and then like, she asks me to stop I stop sometimes <laughs> I like run in the other room and have a glass <laughs> is it a specific type of ice is it like that yeah chunk? it's the little we have a great ice machine at home it's like these tiny little like pebbles it, you know what I've been calling it my entire life great. it's called chicken poop ice if you look at it again it looks like chicken poop Chicken poop ice. <laughs> Chicken okay. poop ice is the so, best ice that's so out there. And I love it too.